Hello and welcome to the lecture portion of uh, the blood vessels chapter. So unit uh, one, two, three, four. This will be uh, for the second lecture test. The first lecture test having covered uh, endocrine, blood, and heart. So now we're moving on to blood vessels. And let's move to the next slide. There it is. All right. Uh, let's look first at overall structure. Uh, blood vessels have three what they call tunics. You just think of them as layers. A tunic means kind of like a vest or a shirt. Uh, starting from the inside, there is one called the tunica intima. You may see it called tunica interna, but I usually you say intima. This is found across vessels, whether you're an artery, a vein, or a capillary, you're going to have a tunica intima. And mostly it's a simple squamous epithelium, so a single layer a very flat, smooth cells called the endothelium. That's the name of the layer. The tissue type is simple squamous epithelium, and it's to keep the blood moving in a smooth, laminar, sort of flat way. There's a little bit of a, a basement membrane made out of some elastic connective tissue and glue. Now, in larger blood vessels, so arterioles and uh, veins and arteries, you're going to have the next two tunics almost always. Tunica media is mostly smooth muscle with some elect, uh, elastic connective tissue stuck in there. And this smooth muscle is responsible for being able to contra uh, constrict or dilate the veins or, or arteries. You'll see that there's more uh, tunica media in arteries and you kind of see that over here, but we'll see it in more detail uh, in lab. The tunica externa, the outer layer, is a lot of connective tissue. You'll see it also called the adventitia. So these two things here, the tunica intima uh, is called the endothelium. The tunica externa is called the adventitia. This mostly collagen fibers like you'd find in, in dense connective tissue. And some of the larger tunica externas can have their own blood vessel supply. And that's what's called the vasa vasorum or vessel of vessels. Let's look at arteries specifically. Now, the way to remember which direction arteries go is that they go away. So arteries go away. There you see a nice little mnemonic for you. Uh, the arteries, the systemic arteries hold about 15% of your total blood at any one time. It's always moving, but if you just freeze framed it, you'd have about 15% of your five liters in your arteries. <clears throat> Three different basic types of arteries. No doggy. There are elastic arteries like the aorta and some of the big branches from it. These guys are elastic. Now when the ventricles contract, that shoots the blood pressure up in the aorta, as you remember from the heart section. So that aorta has to be able to stretch. It doesn't want to like fight it. So it kind of gives and allows it to inflate and then it kind of deflates like you might imagine a water balloon deflating. So it has to stay flexible over your life. Now if you've got hardening of the arteries, this can be especially difficult on these types of arteries because if they get hard, they don't expand. If they don't expand, they might rip. So an aortic rupture is not probably a real pleasant couple of minutes of the last minutes of your life. So stay healthy. Uh, muscular arteries are the ones that continue from there. Uh, things like if you find like your brachial artery, your radial artery, your tibial artery, any artery that runs down a limb or in your body, uh, your abdomen or thorax that you have a name for is probably one of these, barring these first ones. And these guys are the most important for vasoconstriction and vasodilation. They've got the thickest tunica media. Last smallest arteries are called arterioles. And there's a, there's a cutoff as to what size they call them arterioles, but I don't care about that. So just know that they're the smallest ones that ultimately go to your capillary beds. Here's where we see that you can have uh, all three tunics in some arterioles, but lack the externa in some of the very smaller ones that meet up with the capillary beds. End of screencast one.